Hello, hello, and welcome to a little side let's play I'm going to be showing off with Diablo 3 Beta. Yes, I am in it. Uh, you might have seen that before. And I kind of wanted to show off some gameplay and talk about some of my opinions with it. So I'm already logged in, and I kind of want to show you the main menu screen that you're going to see if you decide to play the game. And, well, this is your character right here, whoever you have selected. So, you can see you can click on them, and you kind of get a little career profile progress showing where you are in acts of course we can't actually go there you know certain acts but hey there you go and achievement points my name that shows up there hey whatever that's okay heroes you can look at each hero you have uh, level 13 is the max level you can go in the beta so this is my barbarian that I have yeah he's kinda cool and some other characters that I've played girlfriend and brother tested it out you can inspect them check your items right from the main menu it's pretty nice and here is the banner system, which is kind of a customizable thing that you get based off doing achievements and doing some other stuff. It's nothing huge, but your banner does show up in multiplayer games, so you can customize it to what you like. So if you're into that, hey, that's pretty cool. Not a big deal with me. One other thing down here that you can do is, where are you? No, it's not over there. The auction house, yes. Auction house is going to be very big in this game. There is actually a real money auction house. You can spend real money on this game. You can also make real money as well, so that's up to you. One really cool thing that I do like about it is when you're doing searches, you can actually search by preferred stats. So let's say if I want attack speed percentage, uh, and let's say it had... Oh, what else do we want on it? Let's say add strength on it, because that's requirement for barbarians. And you can put minimum values. Let's see if there's anything on the auction house. Hey, there is. Way over my money, but hey. You can see here, it's just kind of like any other auction house. You can buy, sell. To sell, it either has to be... Well, it has to be in one of your inventories from one of your characters. You can sell from any person. Or in your stash. And from your other slots. So that's the basics with what you see right here. I kind of just want to give you a quick overview before we make a new hero. Let's go to create. And I want to make a witch doctor. I have not made one of these yet. Let's see. Do I want to be male or female? Let's be a female. I'm sure the person who I'm making this for would like it. Let's name our person Eric. Witch Doctor is a spellcasting hero, kind of like a cross between the Necromancer and a Wizard from the or Sorcerer from the second game. So what you can also do is you can change your quests that you're working on. This will play more into uh, into play later in the game when you're actually playing the real game. But we only have one quest we can work on the Fallen Star. If I wanted, I could join a public game. It would automatically just find people who are on that quest and port me right to them. But I, for this, I don't want to play any uh, multiplayer games. I just want to do it myself. So let's hit start game and let's get started. And well, here it is. Here's Diablo 3. That was fast. You have your chat window, which is kind of like wow, you can talk. Hello. Oh, nobody's there. Here is your main action bar. It's kind of like, well, it's kind of like any action bar series. You know, you have your skills. I did customize them. Normally, these are 1, 2, 3, and 4. But I don't like having my hands there, so I've made it ASD and F. You have your left mouse button, and then your right mouse button, which you can switch. And Q button for potions, and then your skills, inventory, all that good stuff. I'll get into that. So, the Witch Doctor does use mana, which is completely new. Not new. It's the only class that actually uses it. And let me show you something that's new to Diablo 3. See that gold? You don't have to click on it anymore. It's so nice. Every other class uses something different. So here we have our first enemy, so let's just use our little poison dart. Pew! Which does 100% weapon damage and then 40% weapon damage as poison over 2 seconds. All classes, including spellcasters, are now based off weapon damage. And right there what just dropped was a health globe. Basically this game is looking for kind of a kind of a little more God of War-ish with those because potions have a 30 second cooldown. I thought it was longer than that. But you can't spam potions anymore in this game like you could in the other Diablos. The spirits tell me go seek the cradle of the fallen star and so I am here. Cool. It fell on the old cathedral. 
There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Okay. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. So here it automatically you know updates your quest, which is, you know, just like in WoW and other games like that. It's not too bad. It's pretty nice that way you don't have to, you don't really have a quest log to keep track of. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Yeah, I'm sure you haven't. You'll find Leah at the slaughtered calf inn. And there are checkpoints in this game as well. So if you die or the dead have been a bane on our existence since that cursed Or basically if you restart, you can Reach right back at your. St you can start right back at your checkpoint. Oh, that's pretty nasty. Apparently, the zombie apocalypse has started. And if you need healing, you can get a healing from here. And here we have the merchant. Most stuff in this game does not sell worth a crap. Most of your gold is going to come from actually picking stuff up or selling it on an auction house. This gold that's available to me, that's because all gold is now account-wide. Um, so you don't actually have to transfer gold in between characters. Same with your stash. Your stash is account-wide. But your stash isn't very big unless you buy slots. Which you'd see 14 more slots, 10,000 gold. It's a lot of money. So let's head in here. Slaughtered calf in. Hey, villager. Oops. What's going on? Yeah, if you remember that from the second game or the first. It's horrible. Old Tristram's Tristram still around. And over, now our lives. Well, you know what you gotta do. Hey, Leah. You are Leah. The captain says you survived the fallen star. I did. But it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the no. old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia. Uh-oh. It's time to kill your wounded. Alright, level two. <laughs> and then for level two... It didn't, there we go. He shows you what skills you lock. So, if you go to skills down here, you have your primary weapons, or your primary skills, which you can do here. And you also get secondary skills then that you get to choose from. And while we only have one choice right now, Grasp of the Dead. So let's see. Ghoulish hands leech out from the ground, slowing enemy movement by 60% dealing 20% weapon damage as physical. Okay. Well, we have no other choice, so we're going to accept it. Oh! I forgot. You can. I accidentally switched that as the wrong thing. I want that on my right mouse button. And then I want primary as my... There we go. You can actually mess around and do stuff. So let's see what that looks like. Woo! That's kind of interesting. Alright, sounds good. Let's go back here. Let's look in our room. Why not? And in this game, it's kind of like a lot like Bioshock. There's a lot of journals. Siege for six days now. Which you can hear. Is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. Waypoint right there. Alright, let's go talk to them. See what's going on. How can I help to fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but... Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Yeah, but they weren't a special class like me. Their sacrifice saved their people. I will honor it. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. Fun, fun. Uh-oh. Let's try a new spell. Ah, oh, not bad. Needs more time. Oh yeah, as a second cooldown. So you see the mana regeneration for the witch doctor is pretty high. Let's pick up these gloves. Let's go to our inventory. Well, we have nothing else on because it does show it. Just a right click and it's equipped. Alright. 
So now we have our objective. Kill the wretched queen in the old ruins and bonus if we kill more wretched mothers. Yeah, my computer might lag a little bit while recording this since this is, you know, a little bit newer game. But I should be okay a little bit. And also when you kill new enemies, you can click over here and get new lore about them. The first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago, rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. I bet they were, Kane. Good old Kane, I love him. Hey, Quill Fiends are back, yeah. Dear reader, I am Abdal Hazir, adventurer, <laughs> scholar, and researcher. I share my knowledge of this incredible world Ooh, and its creatures time. through my insightful missives, often at grave risk to myself. Why, I was recently in Kanduras where my tents were ransacked by vicious quill fiends. I was able to beat them off with a shoe, but a less bold man would have fared <laughs> far worse. And the wretched mothers. I, Cain, have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But you can see one on the map the now, too. The mothers still haunts me. They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they find simple dagger, huh? And regurgitate them as newly formed, risen dead. Well, I'd say that's a lot better than mine. You look here, it says 9.6 damage per second, and it shows you stats equips if it changes if you uh, equip it. So, pretty nice, yeah. So, that's gonna help our spell damage because all damage, every class is based off weapon damage. So you can see our poison darts are doing a little bit more damage. Yeah, why not? We'll replace this soon enough. And a little side area here, the damp cellar. Some of these have stuff in it, some of them don't. This one doesn't. Oh, never mind. So I was damaged right there, so I can just walk right over that and boom, now I'm healed. Can I ever hit him? There we go. Just like in Diablo 2, many of these maps are randomized. You might not always get the same areas that you can explore. I've found a few different ones that I haven't had before in, while playing. Like this, I don't remember this burning cavern. Oh hey, cool, thanks. My computer didn't like that little area right there. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Oh, one nice thing too. You don't have to hold the alt button. I'm not holding right now and those items are showing up. Oh, level three. Oh, blue item. So if you just press it, the default setting is it'll show up for 10 seconds. Now we have a new skill. Corpse spiders, huh? Throw a jar with four spiders that attack nearby enemies for 16% weapon damage as physical before dying. Hmm. I don't... Well, we'll try it out. When you switch skills outside of town, you get a 20 second cooldown. So let's grab these cloth pants. Increases gold and health pickup by two yards. Well, we'll put those on for now. So, since we can't use our first ability, well, we can, it'll just attack. If you can't use an ability for whatever reason, the game will just... Oh, you can have many spiders. The game will just um, use your default attack. Well, that's not too bad. I guess each of those spiders kind of attacks a lot, so... Hey, and we reached it. Old Tristram. Diablo's evil lingers everywhere here. Oh yeah, this is actually Tristram itself. Yes, it is. You'll notice a few familiar runes. 
What's up, dude? Here, let me throw jars at you. If you saw that yellow damage, that's actually criticals. Yellows are criticals in this game. Ah! Oh, that was nothing. Yeah, there are physics in this game of stuff like that. <laughs> Remember this place right here? Remember the well? Remember this right here? Kane's Gibbet? Yeah, when we saved him. Oh, that's kind of good, actually. Because there's so many of them. Oh, wow, that's probably the fastest I've ever killed that. So, hey, look right here. Griswold's fine weapons. Yes, Griswold, I missed you. Except when you were trying to kill me. Exceptional short sword, huh? It's worse than what I got. Hmm. Yeah, let's go finish clearing this out. Hooah! Yeah, the main way to get gold, like I was saying, is basically through drops and selling. That's really the best way. Because you don't... Ooh, I don't remember this. This is new to me. You don't make much money from selling anything to anybody. Oh! Okay, this right here is a treasure goblin. Or pygmy in this case. They are... Well... Little... They are things that run away from you. And they drop gold. And if you kill them in time... You'll get treasure out of it. So I need... Ah, but they run really fast. So you need to snare them if possible. There we go. He was, he was casting his... Uh, his portal to get out. But we stopped him before he got away. So you dropped a cloth tunic. Cloth thingamajig. Alright. Oh, that was fun. Gold pick up and generate one life. Oh, they both kind of suck, but I'll put the regenerate life one on just in case. Some devious little goblins <laughs> have been robbing our merchants. When pursued, they simply open portals and disappear with the most aggravating chuckle. Oh, I bet they do. I believe that the goblins serve a great demon lord known as Greed. <laughs> and greed, huh? Hmm. Portals lead to Greed's domain. Uh, a ludicrous notion, truly. Uh, I wonder what that's referencing, possibly. Well, anyway, what was the nice little thing in the waypoint system is it now shows where you should go. Not a big deal, but hey. And there we go, we're back. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. Next time, I guess we will continue on our quest as our witch doctor through the Diablo 3 beta. Thanks for viewing, and I hope you'll tune in next time.